Hi, I'm Julia, and today I'll show you how to use project time tracking with DeskTime. DeskTime projects feature is hands down one of the most popular DeskTime features used by over 30% of all of our users. It helps freelancers, employees, and team managers to manage their projects and tasks, track their progress, as well as understand their costs better. In this video, we'll show you how to use the feature whether you're a project manager or freelancer. Perhaps we'll even help you discover new ways to use this feature that you haven't thought of before. Here are three ways to use project time tracking if you're a project manager or a team leader. One, to be more organized. It might be easy to know which of your employees is doing what on which task if you manage a team of five or fewer. But what if your team is 50 plus spread across different offices or working remotely? By using the desk time projects feature, at any time of the day, you'll be able to see which employees have worked on which projects. This helps in several ways. First of all, you can see how many people are working on a specific project, which may help you estimate how quickly it's going to be finished. Second, you can plan your human resources more effectively when you know who in your team is occupied by certain projects and who is not working on any specific project and is free to take up new tasks. And finally, by knowing which people have been involved in a particular project, You'll know who to go to when something breaks, if something's not working, or simply needs corrections. So the main idea is, when you know who in your team is working on what, it helps you stay organized and better manage your human resources. Two, use desk time projects to help you improve your communication with your team. As a project manager whose job is to organize workflow, you can often only speculate how complicated or easy some tasks are. To see precisely how much time each project or task is taking, you can require your team to use project time tracking with desk time. So what do you do with this information? For one, you should use this information to set more realistic deadlines for your employees. And two, you can use the data to negotiate with your upper management to get more people working on your project. You'll probably agree with me when I say that it's much easier to rationalize your requests when you have actual numbers to present to your decision makers. Another way to use desk time projects is to liberate your team from preparing reports. Surveys show that employees can spend hours every week on reports, which generally means simply writing down what they've done during the week. This becomes unnecessary when you can see everything they've done in desk time reports. In a matter of seconds, you can generate detailed reports with all the information you may need, from the total project time to each employee's productivity and total project costs. And while you take care of the reports, your employees can use this time more productively, like creating new products or finding new customers. So there are three ways project managers usually use desk time projects. But what if you're a freelancer or work solo? Here are three other ways to use this feature suited for freelancers. One, to bill your clients much more accurately. One thing we often hear from freelancers is that calculating precisely how much they have to charge their customers isn't that easy. Very often, people only know approximately how much time they've spent on tasks, which results in getting underpaid for the job done. When you use project time tracking, you can see how much time you've spent on each of your customers' projects. Go to desk time and under projects you can see all of the projects you've worked on. Search for the project you're interested in and you'll see the precise amount of hours and minutes you've spent on it. The best part? Desk time projects is made in a way that you can switch between projects and tasks in seconds, which is perfect for those freelancers who work on several projects or clients simultaneously. Another way to use project time tracking as a freelancer? Reports, reports, reports. You don't need to tell me how big of a pain writing reports for clients every month is. Been there? Done that. It's time consuming and boring, and more importantly, you can't possibly remember everything you've done to the detail. This is another common reason why freelancers end up undercharging for their services. With desk time, you can generate detailed report in a matter of seconds. Your report will include your time spent on the project and tasks, along with the total cost of your work if you've set your hourly rate in your desk time settings. Download the report and send it to the client. It literally takes seconds and it is as precise as can be. Finally, you can use desk time projects to identify your most profitable projects. Why would you need to know that? Well, I'm a huge fan of the golden 2080 rule that says that 80% of all profit comes from your 20% of top paying customers. This is the rule for everyone who wants to be more efficient, work less, and earn more. By tracking your projects and using the project costs feature, you'll soon be able to notice your most profitable projects and best paying clients. This will make it much easier for you to set your priorities straight and focus on clients that bring you in the most money. So what I'm saying is use desk time to discover which customers and projects are your 20% money makers and spend most of your time and your energy on them. So, here are the top ways to use the desk time projects feature. 
No matter if you have a team of 50 plus or work solo, this is the feature to use if you want to be more organized and save your time, if you're not a fan of manual report writing and prefer reports that you can generate, download and send with a few clicks, if you want to make more money, if you want to work less and earn more. Which of these things do you want to accomplish with the projects feature? Let us know in the comments below. Also, if you're a desktop user or planning to become one, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because we regularly publish practical videos on how to use desktop more efficiently. That's all for now. Thanks for watching and see you again in our next videos. Bye.